What's up, y'all? AJ Simmons back with another great interview for you guys. And today, I mean a great one. We got a CBN legend coming back up here for y'all, man. This guy right here, he came on initially back in 2018, told us how he hit uh, over $200,000 mark uh, in his first year of business. So then he came back again for a second interview, and I had to get him back on for a third one. So, And then, by the way, this was all after serving time in prison. So if you ain't figured it out already, please help me welcome back. Mr. William Wade. What's up, Mr. Wade? Headed to the top. They ain't none of y'all stopping me. Used to say I never get a ring, Charles Barkley. Now I got a wife, got kids, own property. Bubble eye beans that look like that be watching me. Okay, I lied about the beans, but that was hard though. I'm still in that black act, but she starred though. Cause that's all it takes. Oh, I'm flashing for. I'm on my grind, not no more. Hey, man, how you doing, AJ? I appreciate you having me back on the show, man. Appreciate it. Absolutely, bro. So just to refresh anybody's memory and for those who are new to the channel, just go ahead and tell them about who you are, where you are, where you're from and a little bit about your company. Well, I'm from uh, name is William Wade. I'm with Ascent Cleaning Solutions. I'm the owner in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, we do commercial cleaning, residential move in and move outs and Airbnbs. Um, yes, as you said, I, I served a little time. And uh, changed my mind around, and and now here, I, here I am, man. It's been great. The second the second phase two has been great for me. Um, taking the lessons uh, from the old and revamping them and, and pushing them back out new, and it's, it's been a blessing, man. It's been a real blessing, man. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. So uh, I know, like I said, when you first started, you got out the ground running. So you hit like twenty grand per month mark within your first twelve months, and then. Um, uh, first off, just tell us how you got to that point. Like, what did it take to even hit that point so fast? So, all right. So, first of all, as you know, I, I started with a franchise. Those that may not know, I started with a franchise. And uh, I got in, man, and it was always a us, us. Even though when it was just me, it was always a us. It was never a, I can get it. It was never a me can do it. It was a us. I, it was me, myself, and I, if that was it. It was still going to be us because I was working – and in, in them days, I was working like two people. Like my son used to tell me, he said, Dad, you working like two people. I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it in like two people. If it had, if it took 18, 19 hour days, I remember, man, it was time that I was sleeping two hours. I mean, resting two hours, going to knock a building out and resting two more hours. I like to get four hours of sleep in a whole 24 hours. Sometimes I couldn't eat sleep with days, you know. Uh, family was wondering that, one was worrying that I was going to burn myself out. Am I forgetting to eat? I forgot to eat plenty of times. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it was a constant grind to get there, man. It's not, it wasn't an easy road. And especially when, when you have, um, you know, people in your pocket. We talk about that a little later, but uh, <laughs> uh, man, but it was, it was a wee thing, man. It was always me. And um, I mean, it was always me and my team. I, I remember one time I had a $25,000 job. They offered it to me. They was like, hey, William, you know how to do it. I was like, yeah, I didn't know, I didn't know the people. I didn't know where I was going to get the people from. All I knew was $25,000 hitting my pockets. I'm going to figure it out. And, and I did it. And I figured it out, man. I figured it out. And that was in, within the first, like, four or five months of business. So I took off pretty fast. That's what's up, man. You definitely did. And so that was 2018 you was doing those type of numbers. And I understand you got the ups and downs and all of that. So here we are, 2021. August 2021. So do you mind sharing what is what the revenue is looking like today? So, all right. So to get to the revenue today, uh, I'm on track for the first four years of business uh, hitting a million dollars. Now, how, how that went is last year, last year through the pandemic was a blessing and a curse, as we all know. Um, I hit 360 last year. I think I want to say 380 last year. Um, but let's just say 360 just to keep it conservative. So we did 360 last year, and we on track this year to hit 280. Now, I lost $23,000 in revenue in one month from one account during the pandemic. Uh, I had a big account that I was um, that I was working, and it was $23,000 a month. And after I lost that, man, my mind just, just went through a whole nother another another breakdown like because i'm like man what i'm gonna do i mean you know i've never had twenty three thousand a month and now i'm losing it and i'm like well wow you know then 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 then, then I'm, I'm sitting here like what i'm gonna do you know it, it was a franchise account 
And so at this time, I'm relying on the franchise. I've been battling with it. I've called you a couple of times back in the day saying, hey, man, I'm, I'm not posting too much because you, you went independent and I'm, I'm still with the franchise. And I'm like, you're like, man, wait, keep on posting, keep posting, man, keep posting. I'm like, man, no. But, but what happened was I lost that security. Mm-hmm. That franchise security at 23, when I when it when it dropped, I I, I had to go into to 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 to, to my mind. It's like what I'm gonna do next. Right. So I got I got held up a little bit because of the wanting to be loyal to mm-hmm. to my franchise. And so I said, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into the residential, and I'm going to do into the Airbnb, because I I don't want to be in competition with my with my with my with, with the piece, people that's feeding me. You know they they giving me I'm loyal. So if you if you giving me something, I don't want to try to take you know back door. You. But what happened was one time, uh, this this it started my not changing to independent. Was one time I, uh, one of the contracts that my franchise had wanted to get away from the franchise, and they asked me. They said, "Hey, uh, William, you the one doing the work. Why are we messing with this particular franchise? Why can't we just go straight to you?" So in that time, I'm like, "No, nah, man, I don't want to do that because." My integrity comes first. And I'm like, well, I've known people that told me, man, you might as well go ahead and cut them out. Many of my team members said, man, why are you not doing it? But they had that old mental thinking. And that's how we always trying to side swipe somebody or undercut somebody so we can come up. And my belief says that if I be integrous with my actions, then that's how I get blessed. So I went to my uh, franchise and I told them, my master franchise, I said, man, look, we got this company that's wanting to talk just to me. What can we do? to try to keep this company. Now, he said, William, you are the only person that ever said that. So he started questioning me. Like, what am I saying to them? What am I doing? And my thing is like, if I wanted to try to take them, I wouldn't have never said nothing. Like, and he said, I'm the only person. And that's when I realized that when somebody tells you, you're the only person, that's a blessing. Because there's so many other people that's doing other things. If you're the only person that's doing something, somebody say, man, I've never heard nobody say that but you. That's a blessing. I don't want to be like nobody else. I want to be different. So I told them that and they started watching my page and then started. I mean, I have my own business. That's the thing we're supposed to do. We're supposed to have our own business because you have if you even if you're in a franchise, they instruct you to go get an LLC and start your own business. So only thing about me is I was going to get my own clients through residential and I was making it look like I was a professional business because I wanted to build up my business credit. Right. My whole thing that I had the franchise and with this ascent with building a business credit, it is when they made it feel like I was trying to underhand him. Mm-hmm. And I understand this business. I understand it. I understand. And I understand what he's saying. But for me to sit down and tell you and you, 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 you kind of kind of assassinate the Question. character or something. Yeah. Question. Yeah. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. So that kind of put a, a if on the on, on the franchise thing. And then I lost the 23 and then I was like, man, and, 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 and when you lose an account with a franchise, they put you on a two month uh, wait period. Now, I get it. Now, I lost the account during COVID. Mm-hmm. It wasn't because I didn't do a good job. They was, they was backing out. They was making up excuses to go in-house. They eventually went in-house. But um, uh, 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 you get put on two months, right? You get put on, put on two months. And now, what, what I'm going to do with them two months? I lost 23000 And I understand it from a business perspective. Hey, AJ, if you're not handling your business and you lose something, I'm not going to give you nothing else because you're going to mess up my business. Right. But from a personal business owner, entrepreneur standpoint, I got kids to feed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So me losing 23, that's going to mess up my whole mentality. So now I'm sitting here, I done fought in some of my 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 uh, mind altering things, it's sitting drinking and stuff I'm like, man, what I'm going to do trying to figure things out because I, I was at home now. You know, I'm at home working from home. I have my business staff and I lost it. So now I'm trying to figure it out. And I didn't have some of the the um, the systems in place that you get when you start an independent. Right. So you got the marketing over there from from the franchise. So you got to go. Now you got to go out there and go out and knock on the doors. But right. if you don't like hearing no, what you going to do? Yeah. You, you, you know what I'm saying? So I changed and I started hearing the no. I made a game out of it. I told myself, man, let me go see how many no's I can hear today. Because I didn't want to hear a no, but my me framing my mind, let me go get some no's today. And right. man, guess what I realized, man? I didn't even get no no's. I was getting maybe not now was a good time. We just signed on, try back in August. Or 
you know, it, it wasn't a no like I thought. So it made me more uh, eager to go out and, and keep on hearing things. Right. That's what's up, man. And that's, that ain't nothing but facts. And by the way, so I want to ask you this. So as you got, and I'm, you know, this happens as it get interested, I'm going to veer off them little questions I sent you before the interview, right? Yeah, and so ahead. now I'm curious to hear. So as you, once you got to that point when you realized, you know what, I can't keep waiting around for this franchise. And that's why one thing, one of the things I said too in, in videos and previous times was a franchise can handicap you sometimes. Cause I know they handicapped me at first, because like you said, when you a great franchise owner, like you are, like how I was, they gonna feed you. Yeah. You can always pretty much grow whenever you want. But like you said, when you lose an account, they put you through that two month wait period. I didn't have that at my local franchise, so that was interesting that you said that. But so you going through this part now, you realize you know what? I gotta get out and go get it on my own. So at that point, are you having to still bring those commercial contracts through them, or, or is that through Ascent, your your own LLC? How's that going? So luckily, I'm in a state that they have something that you cannot you cannot you cannot hold. I forgot what it is. I forgot exactly what it is. But my friend, my master franchise told me that I can get on my own accounts outside because of the state we're in. It's this state, and I think it's California. They have something that as you a franchise, if you're a franchise owner, you have to have your own business as well. Right. Or you become an uh, employee of that company. And they don't want you with being an employee because then there's taxes and other things. So you they cannot restrict me from getting my own clients. But I restricted myself. Mm. And the reason that I restricted myself is because of the, the integrity that I say I have and the loyalty that I had to the brand. And I didn't want to go with commercial cleaning. So I had to actually figure out where I'm going to go because I don't want to do that. I've been cleaning commercial buildings, but I still want you to because you that's that you don't bite the hand to feed you. That's what, I, that's what I always told him. And so if you giving me at this time, you got all my my, my revenue. I got kids, I got a family, uh, I got people that I want to show real estate, I got people that I want to do a lot of things with, and this is my revenue, and like I told you, we 23000 and we hitting over 350 you know what I'm saying, a year, you know what I'm saying, so I'm like, wow, and that's with the beginning of 2020, so I'm I'm on track for the biggest uh, uh, run of my life, you know, and uh, I ended, like I said, I ended about 380 I say it's, I think it's about 380 but the thing that happened was in that trying to take off on my own, I handed myself because I didn't want to go for the, 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 the niche that I was in because I didn't want to compete with my, 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 my franchise. And I had to figure some other stuff out. And when I started getting in there, it's not just cleaning no more. Now it's okay. I show up to a building and the apartment's not ready. Right. So now it's a whole different mentality. And so uh, I held myself back for like a couple of months trying to figure things out. And then not to mention, I'm having bills coming in. I got cars for my kids. I'm trying to build. I'm, I'm building on my business credit so I can get into this real estate that I'm into. So I'm like, man, there's so much going on. And dude, it, it just went haywire in my mind. Like, I, 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 it's crazy. I know it, man. So listen, so with that happening, right? So you dealing with the loss of this $23,000 a month account. You dealing with, you know, the bills, you know, I'm pretty sure you got people in your ear, family members, yeah. kids, whoever need what, you know what I mean? Then you got uh, uh, the bills coming in, then you're trying to grow, right? So you're now you're trying to be independent and grow too. So how do you manage all of that? Like, how do you sustain it and, and, and keep this level of grinding that you keep, man? Because if anybody knows, CBN knows that William Wade get out here and get it, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, like, and, so how do you, how you keep that, even if you got to get out in the field, like how are you yeah. still able today to even get out in the field if you have to? My mouth, man. My mouth keep me going. Because see, I made the thing of wishing they ain't doing enough. A lot of people say you move and don't talk. I'm a talker and then I move. I do both. I believe you should talk and you should move. Now, I, 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 I would stay away from talking if the people know they're just talking stuff right so when i put myself out there i got to deliver i have to deliver sometimes you can they, they say you can write a catch or you you can something about write a check that your mouth your ass can't you yeah, know can't can't cash. Cash. Yeah. yeah you know they say that stand yeah. but well if i'm if i say i want a million dollar check i want to cash that check you know what i'm saying my ass gonna have to get out there and figure out a way to go cash that million dollar check you know, that's just how I think. I'm not writing checks that my ass can't cash. I'm not doing that. So uh, my mouth, man, my mouth, and, and uh, I motivate myself. My last name, Wade, wishing ain't doing enough. 
So what I'm gonna do, I can't wish that it change. I see my name, I see that Wade symbol all the time. And, and, and I, I put it up and it don't, it's not my name. It's wishing ain't doing enough. It's for people that know that, hey, when you out there grinding, wishing ain't doing enough, you gotta go get it. And so I tell myself this, I wake up and I see this and I know, so no matter what happened, man, I still gotta make it happen. Cause ain't nobody else going, I don't have no other plans. I ain't going back to the streets. <laughs> it's it. Right. <laughs> now we know that the willpower got you started and built you up that level, but at some point, we know you had to put some systems in place because you don't do those type of numbers without having systems. So could you just kind of speak on first off, like how you are hiring people and, and retaining good talent in your company. And then also just any type of systems in general that you have in place so that the company is able to run without you having to be out there cleaning. Oh man. <laughs> hey man, when you get out on your own, when I started to do independent, my mental grew a lot. Like, I, hey, man, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a shout out CBM, man. I'm a shout out you, man, because, hey, I was following you when you were doing, doing a, 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 a franchise. And I was like, man, he's so, he got so much knowledge. You was reading some of the books that I was reading in there and I, and I gravitated to you. I journaled everything. I journaled, I, I, I would document everything. And then you were just actually doing what I was doing in there, but you was actually out here doing it. So I'm like, man, I like this guy. So I, I gravitated to you. And then, um, uh, Going independent, man, it, it, it changes and put different systems in perspective. So you have to wear so many hats, so many hats, man. You, 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 you calling people, you, you doing the interviews, you, you setting up all the things that you have to set up. You, I have a zip recruiter right now. And so I have zip recruiter that um, sends in applicants. Now I have to do the calling of the applicants. So I call the applicants. I set up interviews. I set up, I went to the interview uh, plate location and some people don't show up. Right. And so all of this stuff is, is going on. So now I have a person that calls uh, to see who all wants a job. And I set that going on, like say a Thursday at six. And then I have a, another one of my supervisors go and, and do the, uh, do the interviewing. And so that works out better. Uh, having one of my supervisors do the interview and somebody else calling that removes me out of that place of doing that. Uh, I have, as far as payroll systems, when I first started, I was writing checks. I used to go and meet people to give them their checks. When I got about 12 people on the team, I found out that people would dodge you to get their money. So what I changed in, and when I say they dodge you to get that money because they're busy. Hey, meet me at Kroger's here, meet me here, there. And so now I'm traveling all over uh, uh, Nashville to try to drop checks off. So I done spent the whole payday trying to find people to drop checks. And when somebody said, hey, why don't you just tell them to come and pick up the check at 12, between the hours of 12 and two at this location. And if they don't meet it by two, then you just mail it. Dude, it was amazing how many people showed up to get their check. You didn't have to chase them down no more. So we started doing that. Now we go through ADP and we do everything. Um, we do everything electronic. So it just dropped off into the, you know, into their bank account. We have one guy that wants to get a check delivered and we had to make him get a, a chime card or something. And we don't do delivering checks no more. Um, as far as hiring, hiring people, that's a struggle that I have. Um, getting good client, good, good people. A lot of times I get word of mouth. But word of mouth can also bite you because sometimes if you know somebody that knows somebody that want a job, they don't really take it serious. And so that's something that's been hold, holding me back as well. Uh, I found out that the older crowd are better, uh, are better people to, to as far as longevity. Some, some that's older, older that don't need, uh, they just want some extra money, you know. And then I have a couple of guys that came out with bad backgrounds and they are so phenomenal, dude, because they don't they don't get a chance. And so, you know, that's my passion. So I met a guy now, uh, he, he, he's had some, he, he was in there and, and some stuff happened to him. So he's not walking as well. He got him a cane. So I put him in the building. I don't charge him for his time. I just pay him per building. And he goes in there, he shows up early. He stays and does what he have to do because he said he was turned down for 22 times. He said, man, he said, you don't understand how grateful I am for this job. I was turned down 22 times for a job. Everybody telling me they won't hire me and dude, I love hiring people like that, man. I love yeah, hiring yeah. people like that. Man, that's huge. Like, first of all, the first gym you dropped about setting that window for the time to pick up the checks, because I know people personally who still, you know, got to run around town on payday delivering checks. Yeah. So somebody, you don't just save somebody life right there on that one. And then also um, the fact that you said you're going through ADP, that was another one with the payroll system. Man. So appreciate you dropping those jewels, man. Now, I really want to ask you this. So 
you know, you got a few years under your belt now in this game. So could you share some of the, the biggest lessons you've learned and then maybe the biggest mistake that you've made so far as far as the cleaning business? Oh, uh, one of the biggest lessons I've learned is to don't hold yourself back. Uh, don't hold yourself back. I said twice because it's so many ways that we hold ourselves back and we don't even know we holding ourselves back because we think we're going ahead. Like what looks fast over here could be actually holding you mentally down over here. So what it looks like, like, so like life is on, on, on different planes, on different uh, spheres. You have a mental sphere and you have a physical sphere. So what when you physically getting something, knowing that you might be mentally draining. And so I held myself back from learning a lot because of the physical gains. Now it's kind of balancing out. And so I would say one of the biggest lessons that I learned is don't hold yourself back, man. I always say, yeah. Now, when I say I always say, yeah, let's take always out. Let's take, cause that's a word that you shouldn't say always, but say yes, say yes to everything, man. Say yes. When I started, I said, yes, we, we, yes. We, we have some, yes. <laughs> Before you can get it, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready, man. It wasn't no, let me think of this or let me, man. No, nah, I'm going to figure it out. It's going to get done. It's going to get done. I, man, I've been in, 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 in places that they had that, that they had spices and spices all over your, your face when you come out. I got pictures of me. I'm dusted in spices. I mean, warehouse spices. I mean, doing high dusting. I mean, yes, whatever it was, I needed the experience and I wanted to do it. So that's a great thing. That's one of the best things I would say. Say yes to job that you was you to say no to. Just to get it. Get the experience. How you know you don't like it if you haven't said yes to it? Don't be scared. Go get the money, man. The money's out there for you to get it. It wants you to get it. It's there. It's not going to run. I hear we say we chasing the bag. We chasing the bag. Why are we chasing it? You go get it and then start attracting it. Now, when I was sitting back, they called me. Hey, William, would you do this? Hey, William, would you do this? Now, I don't get that many calls in much because they see me doing my own thing. And I was told I'm, I'm one of the number one competitors because a small, small uh, independent uh, cleaning companies in the area are the big boxes kind of, um, you know, that comp competition, but I didn't see myself in no competition at all because I wasn't trying to get in his lane or their lane. But of course now I am because I mean, they don't want to give me nothing and they're not going to give me and I don't want them to give me nothing because the thing is, but well, let me say it another way. I would, I would accept other accounts because I'm putting people in it and I can make money, but I don't want no one to give me anything. I want to go out there and learn how to get it on my own. And that's the one thing that I realized that's the best important thing in this business, learn how to go get it on your own. Yeah. That's it. Because at that point, if once you know how to get it on your own, nobody has the control over you after that. Man. So I, I agree with that 100%. Now I'm gonna shift gears a little bit. I see that you post your kids often on social media. So could you just talk about, <laughs> uh, you know, just talk about fatherhood a little bit, your oh, view man. on it, because I see that it's important to you. Man, dude, hey, don't get me tearing up on here. That's my heart. That's my life. I didn't have a father growing up. My father got killed when I was a young age. And my mama turned out to be my father. Well, my mother played my father's role. And then in some instances, I tell people I lost a mom and a father because my mom had to be hard. I tell people now, man, my mom is the type of mom that if I was running a 100-yard dash, she'd put hurdles in front of me. And that when I was growing up, I'm thinking, man, mom, why you put hurdles in but now I realize it was to make me better. She know I could run the hundred yard dash the same way somebody else could run it with the hurdles, and I still I could still beat them at the at, at the at the finish line. That's what she was trying to do. That's what she was doing. I didn't understand it as a child, but now I realize. Oh, um, and so my children, man, like like giving them the guidance, understanding how to listen to them, not trying to force them into what I want them to do. I, I grew up, my mom wanted to be a lawyer and a doctor. Mom, I'm very smart in school, but I don't know no lawyers and I don't want to be a doctor. I got to go to school eight years after that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And now that I know a little, doctors and lawyers get tired tax at a high percentage. So they just like high paid workers, the same way M NBA people, uh, 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 the, the workers on the NBA field get taxed if they don't invest. But that's another, that's for a whole nother topic. Telling so <laughs> that's for a whole nother topic. We yeah. got high price workers out here, but it's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with that because they're making good money. But I'm glad that I went my way. Uh, but I'm showing my kids that now because some of my kids don't want to go to college. I have three kids. One of them don't want to go. The oldest one, he don't want to go. And he doesn't have to go. And like I showed him, you could have workers working for you that went to college. Um, I know business people that they have masters in business that work for people like us. You know what I'm saying? So 
I had to show him. So fatherhood for me is being able to show him and guide him the way, uh, on, on the way that he wants to go, not the way that I want him to go. It's also being a friend to him. I hear a lot of people say, I'm their parent. I'm not their friend. Well, your friends, if we know children, we know the biggest influence they have are their friends. Why would you not be a friend to your child? Hey, hey to each his own, man. You could be the strict parent you want to. You could do whatever you want to. But I want my kid to know, hey, you got a friend in me. Like we we watching Toy Story. You got a friend in me. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so look, man, I was talking to my wife about that same thing, though. We agree with you 100 percent, by the way. And um, and and I, I was telling her that I was like, look, I know because I, I literally say the same phrase you said. People say, I'm your mom. I ain't your friend. Right. That's one of the old sayings. But no, I tell my kids. I'm your friend and I'm your, I'm your parent. Like I can put my daddy hat on, too now, <laughs> but I'm your best friend. I want to be your best friend, right? And hopefully, you, you know what I mean? You feel the same way. And then we, you tell me anything. I don't feel like you can't come to me, right? Because I feel like I'm the best person that could be, that should be able to help you, right? So I agree with you 100% on that, man. So You get influenced I, by being a friend. You know what I'm saying? They could come and talk to you. I, I see they say one thing, man. I'm, I'm with my broke breast friends. I've heard people put that on there a lot of times. <laughs> I'm with my broke, my broke breast friend. Yep. But but you say you're not gonna be the friend, but you with your broke breast friend. I don't want to have no broke breast friends. <laughs> so my children have uh uh uh, uh sec- they have uh, uh they have investment accounts going. They have uh my oldest son has his credit. His credit score is like a seven sixty seven because he was an authorized user on one of my credit cards. Uh, my little son, he's fifteen. He has over a thousand dollars saved, ready for a car when he's ready. He has another account with like four or five hundred because he's been working since he was thirteen. Like even if my children were small, I'm putting money in their account so they have some money because I'm saving up for the future that's what my grandmother did so i don't do the broke breast friend <laughs> uh but the thing is uh my children are my friends they are my children i love them i'm, I'm gonna be there for them i'm showing my son about real estate in detroit right now uh i'm, I'm taking him because it's a low cost of entry and I, he don't want to go to college but i do know this that the majority of millionaires are making making their money in real estate. So why would I not start with the end in mind, teach him about real estate while I'm working my butt off in my cleaning business. I bust my butt and I take some money up to up to there. I bought a house up there for like 1300. You know what right. I'm saying? And I fix it up and what I, I put a, about 25, 30,000 into the house. All right. It's not even about the money. It's about the experience that we're getting. Like you could take a son, you could take your, your child to go to college and come out with 40, 50, 60,000 dollars worth of debt. Or what I choose to do, my son don't want to go to college. Let daddy be the professor. Let me take you up to Detroit, spend 30 thou, and we go up there, we, tra- we take trips, we spend time together, you're getting these lessons, I'm hitting you across the head with this knowledge, and you're getting, okay. hey, you're learning what this drywall look like, you're going to learn what this full tear down, this roof looking like. Hey, hey and now you're going to learn what the ROI is, you're gonna, you know what I'm saying? Yep. You come out, That's beautiful, man. I pay the money, and, and guess what? You don't have no debt, and you still got good credit. You know uh, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And you know what? That's one of my, my wife. That's a phrase we were saying. She got that from social media. That's our broke best friend. Now I got to check her. We ain't saying that no more. Because now that you mention it, they ain't broke. You're right. My kids oh, got man. They said, no, but you're right. I got to <laughs> stop that. Look, you done told me something today. Man, right, come on. Look, <laughs> with the background that you have, uh, for somebody watching this, right? And they're like, all right, yes, sound good. He did it. So, but can I do it, right? So if we got somebody right now watching this with a non-favorable background according to the system, uh, what kind of advice could you give this person looking to get into the commercial cleaning industry or the cleaning industry in general? I would say, man, if you question yourself, can you do it? You might can't do it. Because Mm -hmm. the thing is, you got to be sure that you can do it, man. What I would say is go do what I did. Man, look yourself in the mirror and say, man, I'm confident, I'm successful. I'm a businessman. I do good business. I'm a great communicator. I'm a great speaker. I'm diligent with my works. I mean, you start telling yourself things like that. I used to run the yard, man. And I used to, every step I take, I say something positive about myself. Of course, I stumble. And sometimes I, I repeat words. But when I, when, I, when, I, when I would walk back to my guild or to my unit, uh, confidence, whatever, boom. Boom. And over days, I start every step I say, I could say something positive about myself. And I got to walking like that. I got to talking. Every step I'm, every step I'm taking is positive because I'm saying something positive about me. Then you won't, you won't hesitate if you can get in it. You already know you can do it. And I walked around, like I said in my first video, I walked around the penitentiary, man, with, with, a, with, a, with a folder 
in my hand and said it was going to be a laptop. Now I got iPad, laptop, man, I got <laughs> everything, dude. And these yeah. folks thought I was crazy. They thought I was crazy, man. No, man, I was believing in myself. So if you really believe in yourself, you know you can do it. It ain't no if and buts about it. You walk by faith, not by sight. You don't have to see it. You just got to believe it and feel it and go get it, man. It's there for you. Who going to keep you from it? Who going to take it from you? You just got to get it, man. And that's it. It's no other way. Like, like I, I, I like to motivate people and I like to put my passion into people. But I realize over the time, some people just don't want it. They'll tell you they want it. They'll say, hey, man, this is what I want to do. And you sit around and see them. They're not doing nothing that looks like they want to get what they say they want to get. And they'll tell you, hey, everybody don't move as fast as you. Well, OK, if that be the case and you just keep on moving at your pace and you really don't want it. So if they want it, man, they're going to go get it. And they're going to start it today. It, what, what you waiting for tomorrow for? Start it today, man. Look up something. Go uh, Google something. Get on AJ. Get on, get, I got YouTube channel. Get on AJ. Get, you got uh, tenacity. You got plenty of people. Just, just pull something up. Pull something up. Sean Richards, he, he on that mindset. I mean, pull something up, man. Pull something up. Go get it. And, uh, man, shoot. It's lovely over there, man. It's lovely. Absolutely, bro. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to ask you this, too, so. I get some people that always ask me, well, should I go to franchise route or should I join CBN? I know what I tell them, but you a franchise owner. What would you say to somebody right now? They thinking, well, I don't know. Should I go franchise or should I go CBN? I'm hoping you say what I say, but I'm going to see what you say, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you're not going to load that question up on me, man. You know I should go CBN. <laughs> now, nah, honestly, truth be told, hey, man, you got a great, uh, 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 you got a great program here, man. You have matured. And, and not you, you as a person, but you as a program as well. And everything that you have given, I have watched you. I've been out four years. I've watched you the whole way. And uh, you switched and you kind of made me mad when you switched. I mean, I, I wouldn't say made me mad. Right. I was like, I, I felt like, man, what? I, I'm going against my guy. But I say this, man, the truth, truth be told, it would depend on where you are. It would depend on where you are. I, I, I believe I, I can't tell you to go independent or franchise. I would say that, AJ, you have a great program. If I'd have known it, I would have went. I could. I, I'm with you. So, I mean, now, but it depends on where you start, though, because you have some people that starting with a job that needs some uh, that need just just the, the support of a franchise that's going to do the marketing for them because they don't have the time to do it mm -hmm. in the end, though, in the end, somewhere along the line, you're going to want to go on your own. So if you want to start with the end in mind, start with the end in mind. Are you finna start with what you see in the day? Start with the franchise. And, and but have AJ right here, have Cleaning Biz Network right there. But it just depends on the person, man. Cause if I if I was in my situation, say if somebody watching us and they in the prison right now, I it's hard for you to tell them to go, just go out here and get on your own. You know what I'm saying? So coming from where I was coming from, I know the value of independent. I've seen so many people that started independently and is, is doing a great job because they don't have no fees. But that might not be for somebody that's behind the walls that what they need right now is get somebody to send you in the FDDs, the franchises, the closer documents so you can read up on them get you, and start getting your money together. How much is the cost of entry? If, how much do you need to live? You got to think about uh, how much do you need? If you're getting out, how much do you need to live every month? All right, I need it by 2000 So what is my cost of entry to guarantee me $2,000? That way I can go all in on this vision. If that's where you are, then, hey, you need to figure out how you're going to get a guaranteed $2,000 because you have no other job. You have no other source of income. and You're coming out on your own. You have nothing. So now you need that security blanket. So, hey, you're scared to go on your own. All right, that's fine. But if you got something set up and you know you just want to be tired of that nine to five, you know that's not the way you want to go. Man, starting independent is the best thing for me. That's what I would say because you get so much more experience. Right. One of the greatest, uh, not the greatest philosopher, one of my greatest, one of my favorite books said, The Rich Don't Work for Money. Uh, and, that, and that's just it. So if you're in a situation that you want to go out on your own, you got this vision, you got this, this, this dream, rich don't work for money, man. You get, as long as you got your money set up and you living okay, comfortable, go out there and start something on your own. Hit up ACPN. Get on in it, man. Go out there and put work. Don't look for the money. Look for the experience that you're getting. Look for how you're starting to build your system, how you work with, 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 with putting people in place. First of all, how, how, how are you when you got to let everybody do the work? Right. Like that's a whole different mindset when you in here working, working, you're like, you know what, AJ, let me put, let me put Cassandra in here and let she do the work so I can go do something else. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to learn that mindset. Like those things that don't, you, you just can't get that without having to step out there and do it on your own. Facts. And, and really, because and you said everything you just said, I agree with 100%. And this is really what I just say is really, it's not an or. I don't think it's a clean business network or franchise. It could be both. You know yeah, what I mean? If you really feel like, you know what I mean? It's both. Like, <laughs> it's both. That's what you did both. You know what I mean? I kind of did both since I mean, I don't want, like, but it's like, it's like, because at the end of the day, you're going to need the information that's in Clean Biz Network because yes. the franchise ain't going to provide that. Yes. And then if depending on your background, you might need some of the things that the franchise is going to provide that I'm not going to provide. Yes. You know what I mean? So both, dog. The, the both. Clean Biz Starter Kit course is $500, $499 to be exact. So I you got to get a full starter kit that's $1,000 plus. Just get this course so that way you and CBN. And get your franchise. A franchise costs two thousand. Just go ahead and spend twenty five hundred. Get the course of CB. So now yeah. you got. You don't have to yeah. cheat. So, cause see, I'm gonna tell you something, man. To be honest with you, the franchise ain't gonna tell you how to go out there and get them accounts. Franchise don't want to tell. See, there's it's so much. They they don't tell you how to bid. It's it's so many things, man. They don't the market. How you marketing? They your marketing system. So what are you marketing? How who are you marketing to? Where does that mentality kick in? Like, hey, I want to get um, I want to go for these type of clients. So how do you market to those type of clients? See, that's what I'm learning now. Uh, how do you tailor the words for this type of client? You know, uh, you know, so so yeah, that, that I would definitely say TBN, I mean, definitely has to be something that you you, you invest in as well, even if you do with a franchise. Now, if that's the question, I definitely put that, that's that's an unequivocal, I think the answer to yes, I think it's what they say, <laughs> unequivocally. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that word is they use, yes, you definitely need to hit CBN up because I, I, that was big in my life. It changed, it opened my mind to see the independent side. Um. Yeah, it, it, it definitely opened my mind. And so many people are in there that's grinding and hustling, man. Even when I was going down after I lost my account, I was seeing Sean Richardson. I've seen uh, Clark. I think it's Chris Clark. I forgot his name. But they in there killing it. Uh, yeah. DB3, you know, they out there killing it. I talked to him on the phone. And it's like, I'm like, man, they making it. And I'm like, man, I'm still in limbo with this franchise and trying to get out here and I done took off running, but I'm not having the mentality that I need to make sure I can stand on my own. And so it, I got it now though. <laughs> I had yeah. it, I had it then cause I did it, but I, I got a lot more now so I can, I can, I'm raising my own company. So this year, as I said, we on track. I don't think I said it. We on track to hit by 260. So I think we came down to 120, but, um, but again, I'm lost 23,000 a month. That's a quarter million gone at the end of the year. You know what I'm saying? So for me just to be down while I'm down, I'm still winning because I have now pivoted over to bring my other income higher than my, my, my franchise income. So now I'm looking to just grow. And if the franchise give me some more, I definitely, I'm, I'm gladly accepting and I'm, and I'm going to put on the, the franchise shirt and I'm going to make sure I do the best work because that's my integrity. Right. But if they don't, hey. That's what's up, man. So I'm going to switch gears a little bit because you mentioned this before too. You got a YouTube channel. So yes. I wanted to ask you, what made you want to even get into doing YouTube? <laughs> well, I'm gonna give you some credit on this too. Although, although I'm looking for it, but I appreciate it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna give you some credit. I'm gonna give you some credit because see, it's the mindset behind it. Because you in the you in the space when I came home, you was in the space, and I and I'm loyal. I'm like, man, I don't want to go against my guy. He doing his thing. And yeah, I keep calling you my guy because you I connected to you so much. I'm like, man, but you kept encouraging, man. Go get them YouTube money, man. Go out there and do this, man. Do this. And so I'm like, okay, now I'm figuring out what angle I want to go. Because I don't want to be the franchise guy. And now I don't want to be the cleaning guy. So I'm like, what do I want to do? Because I want to do real estate. I want to do investments. I, I like to talk credit. I like to talk so many other things that I just didn't want to be the cleaning guy on YouTube. So um, I have so much content. Like I said at first, I was documenting in prison every day. I have journals for four years of everything I've read, everything I'm... Dude, I used to write full books out because I couldn't afford the book. I have like mm -hmm. 15 books I wrote word for word on my bunk. I had my headset on and I was writing them word for word because it was a guy that I had done 12 years. He had all the books. He had right. all the real estate books and I didn't know and I didn't, I didn't have the money to buy them, so I wrote them. I had paper and pen. I wrote the books word for word. So, 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 so my thing is this, man. Oh, uh, I don't forgot the question because I got so excited. <laughs> man, it, it's, it's like, hey, dude, this is like, dude, this is life. Okay, really, the reason why I'm putting the content—that's what it is. The content is because 
I want to impact other people, man. My mission is to empower the minds of our future generation. That's a mission that I came up with that God gave me when I was where I was because I was empowering them with good words, something knowledgeable, and I seen smiles. I let people know it wasn't the last thing, last day, uh, last time they had, they can redo their life. You know, I, I was really just motivating the guys back there. And my mission is to empower the minds of our future generation, whether old, young, whatever, man, it's, that's what my mission is. So YouTube is going to be a great thing to empower. And I'm going to have two channels uh, because I want to have my cleaning channel and I have Wishing Ain't Doing Enough channel that's coming out uh, soon no with more real estate and motivation and finances and things of that nature that I'm into. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. So now. I know originally you spoke about this in the first interview we did, and you just mentioned it here just like the last breath. So you wanted <laughs> to get into real estate. So could you kind of speak on if you ever got it started with it or what's the steps you're like, what, pro what step are you in in the process now as far as real estate goes? Man, I'm in a great step as far as real estate goes. Man, I love it. Man, hey, I'm in a great position. Uh, my goal was, again, all of this is goals that I had prior. So my goal was to get two doors a year. Uh, I thought I was going to do it in 18 months. Again, we set our goals a little short sometimes. I'm like, man, I'm going to get out here. I'm going to get my cleaning business going. I'm going to put the staff it up, and I'm going to be able to have that thing on autopilot in 18 months, and I'm going to be able over here to look at real estate. Well, this is going on three, four months, four years later, after the pandemic is a year. And so now I've just purchased a house in Detroit for, for some experience and some investment. And then I have, we're looking at, a, at six o'clock today, I'm going to look at a duplex here in my home state in Nashville. Um, I've been approved for 450,000 duplex. And, and, and so I've been getting my credit together uh, the whole time, business credit, personal credit. The whole time I was working in my cleaning business, I was focusing on building my business credit. Uh, that was the whole goal for the cleaning business to build up residual income, well, get passive income going and to build my credit profile. Um, so that way I could go looking into real estate because I want to be a more full-time investor. Right. Now, um, I want to grow this cleaning company, man. I, I want to grow this cleaning company. I, I, I did three, I say three, six. I should be going with three, six. I should have looked at the numbers, but I know three, six is a conservative. And so let's say three, six uh, again. Uh, but I did that and I want to do 500,000 in one year, man. I want to get to half a million in one year. I said I want to do a million probably within 10 years, but I definitely know within the next three years, I want to get my cleaning business to half a million because I, I got so close to 100,000. So I know it's there. You know, I know it's there. Easily, man. Absolutely. For you, easily, though. <laughs> you definitely I know it's there. there. All right, cool, man. So what is the long term goal for you uh, in general? Like, just overall, business-wise, life-wise, where you see yourself going in the next 10 years? All right, 10 years, I see myself growing my cleaning company and being able to employ other people. Uh, my son is getting so, so much, uh, so much, so much uh, experience by running a cleaning company. Like, I'm, he's my go-to go guy. He's 19, and man, he's, he's getting so much knowledge, man. He's getting so much knowledge on how to run a company. All my clients love him. They walk in and say he's so mannerable. Dude, we've getting tips because I walk in with him. Like, he, a lady just gave him $40 for some lunch. He was like, Dad, that's a lot for lunch. I said, son, lunch on you. <laughs> <laughs> but she gave him $40 just because he was mannerable and how he comes in. And I mean, like, it's so phenomenal to actually be able to grow a business and, and actually have your children to take part partake in it and to actually to see the benefits of their mental being able to grow because they out there in the field and, and, and actually interacting with people. You know what I'm saying? So the future for my cleaning business is to keep on growing it. Um, again, I want to go to 500,000 and let my son be able to manage it until he finds out what he wants to do. Right. Uh, and um, man, real estate, man, investing in real estate, you know, a couple of other investments, but we're not going to talk about that. But real estate is what I really want to focus on. And uh, man, yeah, grow the cleaning company. Oh, and my other company too. I have a marketing and, and, and advertising company that I, I've started earlier part of this year. Okay. But uh, yeah, we're going to, and, and that's that whole company right there is, a, is the whole, the whole start of that company is to focus on my cleaning company. So I'm right. using my cleaning company, the name Ascent. You start here and you go up. The name, the, and the name is for a reason. Ascent, you got the triangle for, for the power. 
you know, and ascent with the royal colors, with the red, with I mean, with the purple and the gold for the royalty. So an ascent means you start somewhere and you take it going up. So I use my cleaning business and I'm learning to market my cleaning business with another business. So my cleaning business actually pays my other business. So my other business is running on great numbers because my cleaning business, instead of me paying all these other people to market, why not pay myself? I learned it myself and I marketed myself. I have workers that's marketing my business and we learning and they're getting paid and my, both my business are profitable. And, and, right. and, and as far as credit, both of them looking good on credit as well. So therefore the real estate, uh, real estate future looks pretty good so far. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right. So I got to ask this question before we go to the lightning round. You know, I do this one every time. So somebody watching this video on the sideline, they scared to get started with their business. They thinking about jumping but they just scared. What could you say to that person right now? Man, <laughs> dude, lady, whoever. <laughs> hey, nothing to be scared of, man. You got to go out there and do it. You got to go out there and do it. You just got to do it. It's I, I, The thing about this question that say that is if they still waiting on motivation, I don't know what else to say because the, there's certain things that you just have to do. You just wishing ain't doing enough. That's what I would say. Wishing ain't doing enough. That's the if they not re, wishing they ain't doing enough. Keep wishing, hoping, and dreaming it'll happen and see what happens. But I'm telling you, wishing ain't doing enough. That's it. Facts. <laughs> Facts. All right, we're gonna jump into this lightning round, man. Have a little bit of fun. I'm gonna say a word or a phrase. You just tell me the first thing that come to mind or what it means to you. So here we go. First word is poverty. Never again. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Facts. All right, but. Uh, law of attraction. It's real. Mm -hmm. All right. Top five entrepreneurs. Oh, man. Top five yeah. entrepreneurs, man. Let's see. Top five entrepreneurs. I want to go with Jay-Z. I'd love to go with Jay-Z. Uh, Grant Cardone is in there. Uh, there's no Grant. Um, Russell Simmons. Mm. Russell Simmons in there. He's a nice entrepreneur. Um, let's see. Got two more. Two more. Uh, who else? I Jay Morris, and I used to listen to him, but I like real round tree too. So, oh, uh, so I guess I don't know with them two. We we'll get one one slot together if you want. Yeah, to we get on one slot right. together, and then, <laughs> and then my last one, man. I said one of my top five entrepreneurs, man, it'd be me. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I'm not, I, I'm not the person that you see ain't the person that I see. I see myself five or seven, ten years from now, and I'm gonna be my favorite person because I'm still trying to get there. Well. Take the word trying now. I'm still, I'm, I'm on my way. That's right. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. So one of my favorite entrepreneurs has to be myself. Right. So let me just, that's just huge. First of all, I wanted to count. Never mind, I ain't going to do that part. That's messy. I ain't going to do that. I was going to mention something about J.J. Morrison and Will Roundtree, but never mind. But one thing I did want to say too about that last point you made was about you being your favorite entrepreneur. And I love that. I'm going to tell you something real quick. Just a quick story. Go ahead. You know, and you know this. When you came in the game, you shot right on past me as far as revenue in your cleaning company. So did Sean Richards. So did uh, DB3 eventually did it. A lot of people did it, right? Mm -hmm. And so I could have easily said, you know what? Those guys just better than me. This is not, you know, I could have got down on myself, right? But it, I just still felt like, well, I'm still great. You know what I mean? Like we all yeah. just, that's all that we all just great. And it was like, I accept what it is. And who was, I think, I don't know if it was, uh, Calvin Weaver, you know, who does the podcast for me, or if mm -hmm. it was uh, CJ Wood. But I was talking to one of them, and they, were, and they were saying how, like, dude, you realize you're, like, the only coach out here. You coach people to even pass you. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, that's different. Like, nobody does that. And I was like, damn, you're right. That's like a power in itself, right? And so when I rebuilt CBN, I obviously, I shot past myself, too, then. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and I mean, got back up there. But my point is, if I wouldn't have had that belief, and if you don't have that same belief you just saying right now, it it, it won't happen. So people got to make sure that you don't always don't idolize these people, man, on, on social media, including me. Don't <laughs> idolize these people just because they on the camera, because ain't, you ain't done. The story ain't done yet. You know what I mean? So and also it ain't nothing for you to pick up this phone with my phone. I don't lost it. It ain't nothing for you to pick up your phone and start recording yourself too and be on that camera. And that's why I push everybody I talk to to get up here, man, because you got a voice too. But anyway, my bad. I couldn't help. No, nah, you good, help. man. You good. <laughs> hey, I ain't got, I'm in the house today. I told you my son running the business now. He, he's, he's bossing up, man. He's bossing up and he's, he's, he's trained somebody 
Um, I let him hire somebody at 19. He training at first when I first started with him and I'm, he was scared to talk to older people. Like he was, I would say, Hey man, you got to go in there and show him what to do. Right. 50, 50 year old guys. He don't want to tell them nothing. He's, he's, he's timid. Now he walks in and he knows how to get them to do it without telling them to do it. He learned how to say, Hey, let me help you do this. Or let me show you this. He, he He's learning techniques to make him more comfortable with instructing people older than him on how to do things. And that's some huge stuff. I don't even know how I just got that out of what you said, but you, Hey, don't talk about my kids, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, man. We ain't doing number building. And you know what? This one's so good, man. I'm going to break this into two parts because they're going to have to wait for this. They ain't getting all of this in one segment, man. But anyway, hey, I hey. definitely could do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Will. Man, I appreciate you so much, man. It was truly a pleasure and an honor to have you come back. Every time I talk to somebody that's either in CBN or they know of CBN and they've seen you or heard of you before speak, they always ask me, how were you way doing? They never met you day in their life, but they always ask about you. They feel like we best friends because they see how we <laughs> when we get up here, man. So, but anyway, I truly appreciate you taking the time out once again to come up here and join us, man. And by the way, for anybody watching this right now, make sure you go find his channel right now. What's the name of the channel again? So I have, oh, right now I have William Wade. Uh, I'm um, William Wade is my YouTube channel. And you have to find my picture because there's other William Wade's on there. It's a guy, William Wade with the abs. My cousin said, hey, Maybe you need to get some abs. So I might be working on my abs so I can take the other William Wade name. Right. <laughs> but no, find me uh, uh, William Wade. And uh, again, I'm going to be, uh, I'm working on wishing they doing enough, um, bringing that brand out more of uh, investment. And, and like I said, real estate and, and learning, teaching people what I learned on my journey of, of doing this full rehab um, in, in, in Detroit and, and, and seeing the, 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 the impact I can have on a whole community. Cause see a lot of times uh, the system forgets certain communities and when they forget them, it's up to us. We always want people to help us, but we're not willing to help us. Once we know, we know that most people or a lot of people, as soon as, they see some, some value, they want to buy it. And what we do, we sell it. Yeah. We build up the value and then we sell it because then they, they bring them in. Well, first of all, it's time for us to big up the value in our own communities. It's time for us to build up the value in our own mentality. It's time for us to build up the value in our own cipher, our own house. And then other people are going to want to spend that money and that value. So to follow my journey, man, we're going, we're going to take it on a couple of little different ways. I'm trying to figure that out right now. But I'm Ascent Cleaning Solutions, Facebook, Instagram, William Wade, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Wishing Ain't Doing Enough, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, yeah, yeah. we're That's coming, man. Is, we're That's coming, man. Is. We got content Appreciate coming, you. man. <laughs> I'm, and I'm going to post the links in the description of the video and everything too, man. So again, I appreciate you, man. And I'll talk to you soon. I appreciate it, man. Uh, but I would just want to say DB3, Sean Richardson, Nicole Mason, Stephanie Parker. Uh, we have so many people that's in CBN that's actually just, just growing and helping. helping uh, my guy, AJ, I think it's AJ Brown, uh, uh, Anthony, Anthony, oh, yeah, Anthony Brown. Brown. Yeah, Anthony yeah, Brown. Yeah. Like, it's so many of them in there that's grinding and, and, and getting getting it down. And so, man. Martel hey. Cuffin is another one. Montel, yeah, he's he doing Rube, his Rube, thing. He's doing Rube, Rube. Rube. Hey, Rube killing it. <laughs> Rube is killing oh. it too. Marcus Crockett. Look, I'm, I'm thinking man, all of them. Yeah, man. Hey, <laughs> it's so many heavy hitters in CBM, man. It's like it's like if you cannot get in there and 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 and, and network with somebody, they got people they from all backgrounds. You got people from all backgrounds. Like, come on, man. My background is is is, is really messed up. So you know, but it's, my God, I want to say messed up. Churches. I want to say that too. The guy with this killing it with the churches. What's my boy? Oh man, Andrew, Andrew, surely that, Andrew. Yeah, he can. Andrew with... Lewis, man. Shout man, out I'm gonna Andrew tell you Lewis. the truth about him, man. When when the COVID was coming, he he jumped in and he got out. Remember, he got out the navy. I think it was the army, and then yeah, he jumped into it. It was the name of the army. He jumped into it and he started taking off with the clean with the churches. I started to go back to church. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> right. oh, let me call a church or two and see what's going on. Right. Because <laughs> he was churching it out. Uh, but yeah, that's cool. And I just wanted to shout out some of the CBN members that's been influential to me, man, because uh it's so many. I couldn't do it on my own, man. Without CBN, I probably I wouldn't do it to do it. Even when I'm not on CBN, me just tapping in. Uh uh Shauna, uh, what's his name? It's name Shauna Scott. Shauna Scott. She was yeah. old school though, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But she when she was good. Yeah, she been getting, been been getting. We think she, been, yeah. So, so it's even when I wasn't doing, uh, when I was in my 
my mindset when I when I was hard on myself, man, I would look on CBN and I'm like, man, they killing it. And I always knew I was going to do something better than what I was at right then. And I, I didn't fall that far, but like I say, man, losing 23,000 in one month, that's a, man, it's some people that don't make that a year. Right. <laughs> and I still made sure that my kids got a car and I still made sure all the bills were paid in my household were taken care of. I put $6,000 down on two of my kids' cars last year and mm. I paid both their cars off in a year to build up my credit to get in a position so I could uh, get this duplex. So I actually paid off $25,000 worth of car last year and I lost 23,000 a month and my kids got two paid for cars, but they end up tra uh, they end up totaling both of them. Oh, wow. So now, <laughs> but they paid for it <laughs> and yeah. I have full cover insurance. Yep. I got some tips on cover. Yeah. yeah. I got some tips on how to do that and everything, man. Hey, it's it's a lot going on. Content is coming, man. Yeah, we got you got to you got to get it up, man. Cause we need that out here, bro. I appreciate that. All right.